listening to the voice of deliverance from Nakonde Bread of Life Church International Blessing Center, opposite Civic Center near the Council Barrier. Come and experience the life-changing deliverance in your life, your business, your health, your career, your marriage, and many more. Stay tuned as the program will bless you and you will never regret listening from the broadcast. Join Reverend Samson Tolle now. Nandini, hallelujah. People have been appreciating me that now I know Namanga. Uh, amen. First Kings chapter 18. Let's start reading from 41. Okay. Then Elijah said to Ahab, Go up, eat, and drink, for there is the sound of abundance of rain. So Ahab went up to eat and drink. Elijah went up to the top of Carmel. Then he bowed down on the ground and put his face between his knees and said to his servant, Go up now, look towards the sea. So he went up and looked and said, There is nothing. And seven times he said, Go again. Then it came to pass, the seventh time that he said there is a cloud as small as a man's hand rising out of the sea. So he says, go up, say to Ahab, prepare your chariot, and go down before the rain stops you. Now it happened in the meantime that the sky became black with clouds and windy and there was a heavy rain. So Ahab rode away and went to Jezreel. A miracle service. I don't want the enemy to oppose this. We bind you in Jesus name. We started something on Wednesday. You must expect a miracle if you want it to happen. That's the title of my message. I'm preaching to you about you must expect a miracle if you want it to happen. You must expect a miracle if you want it to happen. Nothing happens by chance. Even in the world today, nothing happened by chance. You can't become a doctor by chance. You can't become a teacher by a mere wish. You can't become a nurse by chance. There are things you need to put into consideration to become what you want to become. Nothing just happens. Nothing just happens. Whatever will happen to you, it will come from you. Take note of that. Whatever will happen to you must come from you. I repeat, whatever will happen to you must come from you. That's how miracles happen. So I want to rush through and see how we can uh, conclude the matter because I want somebody today to go home with a miracle. So today, as we look at these things, because I want you to go home with a miracle in your hands, I want, as I'm still preaching, those with faith, those with great belief, those who came here looking for God, before I finish the sermon, on the middle of the sermon, at the start of the sermon, a miracle will hit you in the name of Jesus. I say a miracle will hit you in the name of Jesus. 
In the Bible days, miracles were always happening. In the Bible days, miracles were a thing of the day. It was happening normally. It was something that was happening in every service. All because people in those days used to expect it. Used to expect it. Miracles were happening in the Bible days in every meeting just because people expected it. Nothing happens by itself. People in the Bible days expected God to change their lives. They expected God to do something unusual. In the Bible days, they did not trust in their education. They did not trust in their wealth. They did not trust in the, in the things they have acquired. But they looked up to God. That is why in the book of Psalm chapter 20 verse 7, in the book of Psalm chapter 20 verse 7, some trust in chariots and some trust in horses. But we will remember, we will trust in the name of the Lord our God. That's why when you look at the Bible, everything that happened, it is because people never trusted in, on their, in their strength. The people never trusted in their education. People never trusted in their witchcraft. They looked for God. My brother, my sister, God has the final say. I don't care how long you have longed for a miracle. How long you have looked for a miracle. But today, if you believe, may you go home with a miracle. If your amen is better than your friend, may you be the first one to receive a miracle. I say may you be the first one to receive a miracle. Let me tell you, it is not that we just want to build an empire on miracles. No, the world is full of troubles. The world is full of problems. That is why we want God Almighty to make it easy for us. In this world, you cannot be happy when you are going through problems. You cannot be happy when you are suffering always. You cannot enjoy life. That is why we will not joke at all. Let God arise and his enemies be scattered. Let God appear. Let God appear. For how long am I going to be a laughing stock? For how long are the people going to laugh at me? Oh God, take away my shame. Oh God, take away my disgrace. Oh God, arise and surprise those that have concluded my case. This is the God we preach. Let me tell you, I'm not preaching to you about Bishop Tolle. I'm not preaching to you about Bishop Imakando. I'm preaching to you about the name of the Lord, the name of Jesus. Let me tell you, there are things I cannot do, but there are things Jesus can do. There are things that, all the things that are difficult, Jesus can handle them. Hallelujah. So, as I preach, begin to put up your thoughts. Begin to be different. Begin to say, let me try it. Get out of the physical thinking. May you transform and enter into the supernatural. You need to have a mind of God. You need to have a mind of God if you want a miracle. Not every day asking how. How is it going to happen? Look at my situation. How? Look at my... No, forget about the way your situation is. You need to say, whether this vehicle has an engine, no engine, it must take me to Lusaka. A true story happened. A true story happened when a Christian soldier was being mocked by other soldiers. They mocked him. They mocked him. They mocked him. And they took him to a vehicle that had no engine. And himself did not know that the vehicle had no engine. And he, was, he had never driven before. Then he said, we want to know whether your God is powerful. So please, if your God is powerful, go and start that car. Go and start that car. A man of a man who is a soldier who trusts God, who, be, who has been mocked, 
climbed that finished vehicle without an engine and started the vehicle and the vehicle kacha kacha vroom all the soldiers wept and said we want to receive your Jesus Christ true story no engine my friend tell me if God can start a car without an engine what about your problem what about your problem God loves you more than the, the car God loves you more than properties I pray for anybody here who is so tired who says I am tired may you receive your miracle today take it in the name of the Lord receive it in the name of the Lord receive it in the name of Jesus my friend, don't look at God the way other people are looking at God. My friend, don't joke with God the way other people are joking. They'll go drinking and come back to God. They'll go humanizing and come back. Forget about those childish behaviors. May you be different because you have suffered for so long. You will abandon beer. You will leave everything behind you and look for God. Look for God. Look for God. Look for Him. Look for him. Whom are you deceiving? <laughs> <laughs> Hallelujah. Whom are you deceiving? You do all the things there. Come back. Holy, holy. No wonder you are not single. My friend, I am not God. Oh. I say I am not God. Oh. I am not God. Stop running away from me. I am not God. Gaula paper for if you smoke cigarettes, smoke on my face. Adata murifia uhim. Hallelujah, somebody. I don't know whom I came to talk to. There are four people here. There are five people here. You are looking for God. If I be a man of God, may the Lord have saved for many years. Answer your prayers. Answer your prayers. Answer your prayers. Answer your prayers. Many years ago, when I was struggling, when I was so poor, when I had no name, when people could not look at me, I had a song. I had a song. This song I used to sing it, whether with song readers, whether with praise team or alone. I used it was the only song I walk in church and lead it. Even when I was preaching, I would say, "Let me sing." Na yo na pamvu yambuye. Nishishira imona. We before sing anything. Na yo na pamvu yambuye. Na yo na. Mpamvu ya mbuye Naiwona Mpamvu ya mbuye Naiwona, naiwona Naiwona Then God began to show himself Then God began to manifest himself The lame began to walk the blind began to see. Poverty began to run away. I stand as a man of God. I prophesy. You shall see God. You shall see God. You shall see God. You shall see God. You will see God. I mean miracles. I mean miracles. You people who have serious problems. Try God. Try Him. Try Him. My friend. I'm not here to earn my living. No. No. I'm not here for a salary. I'm here to prove to you that the God I have been serving for over 20 years is a God Almighty. Is a God Almighty. Is a God Almighty. Is a true and mighty one. Hallelujah. If I remain alone talking about miracles, if every pastor will leave it, just talk about sorrows and other things, I don't mind to remain alone because you shall not die before your time. As long as I stand here to worship this God, you shall not die before your time. You shall not die childless. You shall not die poor. You shall not die a nobody. You shall not die without anything that you are looking for. Do you believe?
believe what I'm talking about. Take it in the name of Jesus. Take it in the name of Jesus. Take it. There are those in this place. There are those in this house. You are here. People are looking down on you. Let me tell you, they don't know who you are. They don't know who you are. Yes, you have some weaknesses. Yes, you are shy. Yes, you have issues. But let me tell you, there is a God who loved Paul, who had the issues. There is God who loved Moses, who had the stammer. There is a God who loved people with weaknesses like David. I don't know whom I came to talk to. This weakness must not fit. You. This weakness must not stop you. You need to receive a miracle. You need to take a miracle. You need to go with a miracle home. Go with a miracle home. Go with a miracle home. Yeah! Go with a miracle at home. Hallelujah. Please God. Quick, let me give you four things in a hurry. Then we try to pray. But as I'm preaching, those who believe, you can receive a miracle just as I'm preaching. Those with desperate, you see, ask members from Nseruka village, Chief Mwamba Chitimukuru, Pranda Ichi Kalipa. You cannot admire my shoe, but it is me who knows whether this shoe is nice or whether this shoe is paining me. Hallelujah. So if you need a miracle, as you have this pain in you, you need to stop looking at these ones. Begin to look at your issues before you die without a miracle. You need to begin to say, God, is it true that you healed the sick? Is it true that you brought the dead back to life? Is it true? Is it true? Matthew chapter 11 Verse 3. Matthew chapter 11. Verse 3. As I give you point number 1. The frustration of unanswered prayers. The frustration of unanswered prayers. He says, And say to him, Are you the coming one? Or do we look for another? Are you a coming one? Or do we look for another? This man saying these things, his name is John the Baptist. In case you don't know anything about John the Baptist, he's the man who announced Jesus, introduced Jesus to the public. He said to the people, this is the person we have been waiting for. This is the, mass, the Messiah, a man whose shoes I cannot carry. A man whose sandals I cannot lose. This is the man. And the Spirit of God came while John was baptizing. John saw the Spirit that had the symbol of a dove resting on Jesus. And he saw power. He saw, he saw how Jesus, the heavens opened. And God spoke in the presence of John the Baptist. God said, this is my son in whom I am well pleased. This is my son in whom I'm well. John was there. But one day he was taken to prison. He was in prison. He was in cells for too long. He prayed that he comes out. Nothing happened. He prayed that he need to, needed to come out. Nothing happened. And he surely he tried to send messages to Jesus. Jesus never came. And at the point where he was about to be killed, where his head was about to be chopped, he sent his disciples. Go! Ask, ask him, are you the coming one? Or do we look for another? And Jesus answered the next verse. Are you able to flash quickly the next verse? Jesus answered and said, Jesus answered and said to them, Go tell John, the things which you hear and see. Next verse. The blind see. The lame walk. The lepers are cleansed. And the deaf hear. The dead are raised up. And the poor have the gospel preached to 
them. I don't know whom I came to talk to. Life sometimes can be very unfair to you, especially to believers. When you have you may not know, you may not understand. You see, for a non-believer to have a difficult life, it is normal. For a believer to have a difficult life, it's abnormal. I repeat it. For a non-believer, it's normal. For a believer, it's abnormal. Why? Because people say, you serve God. Where is your God? Why is he not helping you? You see, there is a point in a Christian life where your prayers, when their prayers are not answered, you get frustrated. I don't like a situation where your prayers are not answered. I have been there before where you have prayed and prayed. You wait for an answer. Nothing happens. I've been there before where I've prayed for people and they have not received a miracle. While you have prayed for others, I've received it. I know how I feel. It is so frustrating. Look at this man, John. Are you the one, John? Why are you asking if I was the disciples? I could have asked him, are you not the one who told us this is the man? This is the man whose shoes you cannot handle. We were there when God said, here is my son, whom I'm well pleased. But I hear John saying, you people, you don't understand. If God, if this Jesus is truly the one, why is he not coming to bail me out of this situation. And there is a way I know Jesus, that is John. He's a miracle worker. How, why can't he come and perform a miracle that I come out of this place? John was there until when they killed him. How do you feel? Believer. You are a believer. You have the name of the Lord to your side. And nothing is happening. How do you feel? You are born again. Everyone is looking up to you. Let me tell you, believers have changed church from one church to another. And the more they change, the more frustration, the more frustration. At the end of it, they have ended up leaving church. I want you to know you don't need to change church. You need to know how to go about it. You need to know how to believe God. No matter the problems you are going through, trust God. Trust God. In prison, trust it, God. Trust Jesus. He is still the one. Even when you suffer, even when there is no answer, trust Him. Trust Him. You have become, you have become too quiet. Trust God. I prophesy in the mighty name of Jesus. Your path will not the path of John. Before you go to heaven, God will reward you greatly. God will answer your prayers. God will make your story end well. Your story will end well. Your story will end well. Your story will end, well. story will end in the tears of John. Hallelujah. I know. As a believer, it is so frustrating when your prayers are not answered. There is nothing more frustrating to a believer than having your prayers not answered. I can manage anything, but when my God is looking like it's quiet on me, even when I am a cameraman, even when I am in the press team, even when I am sweeping the church, even when I give my tithe, even when I do everything, why are you quiet on me? Why? That is why I have come with this message to tell you that you see, you can make it happen when you expect it. I don't care how bad your situation is. You trusted God one year. You trusted God two years. You trusted God ten years. You trusted God fifteen years. And you have lost hope now. Don't lose hope. God is still the same. Yesterday, today, and forever. He is still the same. Yesterday, today, and forever. Yes, it can, it can happen. But your miracle is coming your way. Maybe you are wondering and say, ah, 
Bishop, why are you talking like that? I'm talking to you like that because uh, for 25 years, uh, Abraham and Sarah waited for a baby. They waited one year. They waited 10 years. They waited 15 years. They waited 20 years. Ha! But, you know, the bad part about this story is that Abraham loved God and they were talking face to face. Ha! Abraham was humble. If Abraham was Samson told him, but I will even say, let him come next meeting. If he comes, I will ask him, why are you not giving children? We talk always. Chapter 12, he even spoke to him, I will make you great. Everyone will be blessed through you. What about children? Begin to read in chapter 16. Begin promises after promises. Chapter 17. See him even changing his name. Now you'll be Abraham. Should you wait for, for 25 years to give me a child? My friend, we don't question God. Himself is wise and wiser than the wisest. He knows why you are in that situation. He knows it. Don't be like others. Because God does not answer. Let me try there. Let me try there. Then you go back to square one. Because not everything that greets us is God. You find yourself now starting again. For a pastor, nothing frustrates to start praying for you. To start fasting for you. And you disappear. You reappear. After two years, I should start again. Uko to fumine kwarepa. Oko to lea. Eh? Hold on. God is about to meet you. I say God is about to meet you. I know your life has been unfruitful. I know your life has been very frustrating. I know how much you love God. In the book of Revelation chapter 2, verse 2, you hear a story where God says, I know how much you love God. I know how, uh, how mature you are that you are able to discern those that are not apostles and you are able to tell that they are liars. I know how committed you are. I know it. So God knows how faithful you are. God knows what you have been doing in this church. God knows what you have been giving in this church. What down? He is coming your way. He is coming your way. He is coming your way. I prophesy in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Uh, let those who laugh at you, let them not die. Because they need to testify on your behalf. Receive your miracle. Receive your miracle. Hallelujah. Number two. People in the Bible acted in faith. People in the Bible acted in faith. All the things they do when they wanted a miracle, they acted in faith. My friend, walk by faith. May you do things in faith. Be inside it. Let faith cover you. We live in the generation of fast food. I am a bit behind in eating those foods you like eating yourself. When you go to Rusaka, I have difficulties. A man of God took me at one of these uh, malls and uh, brought me the best dish. I saw a chicken looking like this one piece. I said, there's no chicken like that. <laughs> then they had put three on top of each other. I said, nah. <laughs> this chicken. <laughs> I tried. I felt I had to apologize. Sorry, sir. <laughs> this one, I don't like it. Uh, the one I like is the smaller ones from the village. Hallelujah. We live in the world. Go and check. 
If you make an order, they will just say, wait, 15 minutes, it will be out. Go to a village chicken. Say 15 minutes if it work. <laughs> you try <laughs> until you break the bread. Hallelujah. We live in a generation where we want everything to happen automatically. We live in the world of cartoon. Bill! Fast. Oh! I feel like buying a car. Bill! The car is here, you just enter. My friend, there comes a time when God is silent. But that does not mean he has not answered. You need to walk by faith. You need to use faith. In case you don't know faith, faith is imagining something that has happened to you even when it has not happened. That's faith. Many years ago, I was in the classroom preaching. Mama here. And uh, there was one whom we were keeping. And also patients like this running around the desk. Then I was preaching. Then I said, I'm seeing the multitude. What a big church. My niece, the one we are keeping, from that time she went home, began to cry, and wept, and said, I want to go back to Chipata. We are in Chadiza. I don't know whether she was seeing madness. She cried. We tried to speak to her parents. We tried to threaten her. How big you! Shut up! Uncontrollably crying. She went to school. The teacher was teaching, she's just crying. The teacher summoned me and said, Why are you mistreating your niece? I said, Ah, uh-uh. ah. Me? I'm a man of God. Holy one. Why are you saying I'm mis- She's crying throughout. I said, Ask her. Do we mistreat you? Then she just said, I want to go. I want to go. I said, hey, go, go, go. Teacher, give me. Come, come, come. Babasi, get. When now God has blessed us, she hears the news. We are in a Konde, driving around. She says, I want to come. I said, never. <laughs> never. You can never come. <laughs> Why should you come when things are well? When things are bad, you can't come. Now look at what the Lord has done. I don't know whom I came, pro- I came to prophesy. Ah, in the mighty name of Jesus, I prophesy today that no matter what it is, miracle is coming, miracle is happening, miracle is happening. Look at how people brought the sick in the street to wait for Peter. Acts chapter 5 verse 15. Acts chapter 5 verse 15. As a result, people brought the sick into the streets and laid them on the beds and the mats so that at least Peter's shadow might fall on some of them as he passed by. You see why I'm saying it was by faith? Because of the word might fall. Might fall. Now, at least, it tells you they were not sure. They were not sure, but what they knew is that Peter would pass there. These people, to be honest with you, if we, today, you, the way we live, if we were with Peter, no miracle is going to happen. Even today, you can do your thing. Even today, you can choose to do a miracle. Hallelujah. Look at these people. Number one, my question to them, who told you that a shadow can heal? You have never read it? There was no New Testament. They would just read the Old Testament. I they never saw a shadow healing people. There are things that you need to, to, be in, to initiate. 
out of your own heart in line with the word of God, you can decide to receive a miracle using your own things. There are things you can decide. My miracle come through this way. Let me do it this way. You can do it. Who told you a shadow can heal? They just put and say, Peter will be here. So Peter is coming. He just sees people. He says, ah, ah, I'm going to Damascus now. I am so busy. My calendar is loaded. What are the people doing here? He says, no, 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 no. We don't need you to pray for them. Please be busy, but please walk near the people. So that as you walk, your shadow, like this. Then when it stretches, <coughs> Peter said, are you sure? I said, yes. My shadow, yes. My friend, you don't need my faith. All you need is your own faith. All you need is actually your faith to collide with my office. Whether I am uh, uh, watching wrestling, I know real Christian, you don't watch this thing. It is fight. It is brutal. Those people look like beasts. But I love them myself. Those are my friends. In fact, if it comes to that, I'll be one of the wrestlers. One is that I'll be fighting in suits. <laughs> Not in the attires that looks berserk. Hallelujah, somebody. Now imagine. Even if I am not with you, you just carry faith. This man, this man, if only the vehicle that is passing here, I would receive, you can receive it. One of my sons here was telling me today that last night received a call of a family of a child that had uh, collapsed, fainted. Maybe she's here last night and, and said we are calling you to take us to the hospital not to come and pray or whatever come, we will take us to the hospital the, with the wife they prayed for the vehicle and said in this vehicle is anointed this child, the moment they entered this will be healed that's what we say, say so in a normal way to call, sir where are you want to bring you a case so they entered the vehicle. And in the vehicle, he just said, In the name of Jesus, the person who had collapsed manifested. Yesterday night. Yesterday night. Now listen. You need to believe God in a way that you have known Him alone. The problem you have, you have not suffered. When you have suffered, my friend, us members from Mwamba village, they will say, Pakwa kano unga. Tapawa venson. Nga nao kwa tenson in Ishikala. How many of you know hunger? Not appetite, I say hunger. <laughs> my friend. <laughs> <laughs> hunger. Do you know hunger? Hunger. In 1995, there was a famine. A famine that my mother there, my mother there, we went to work in people's farm. My mother there, we went to uh, FRRA depots to get rotten maize. We ate rotten maize the whole season. We carried, they were given pure rotten, not even a piece of food. Of whitish. Rotten! We are given. Just go plunder it. The whole area. You get as many as you. So we were men. We family, get, get. Mama Nam call it. We put there. Put. We were eating in Shima. That was looking black charcoal. Black charcoal. We were eating. And we know we. If we visit your house, by mistake you save us in Shima with chicken, you will stop eating. You will be watching us because we entertain you. <laughs> <coughs> we will entertain you very well. <laughs> do you know hunger? My friend, that's the way you do things when you want a miracle. 
That's the way you do things when you want a miracle. That's the way you do it. <laughs> okay. Act in faith. Behave the way they behaved. Take the thing like, like that person who brought a man, a baby, who had died, was sitting and went stiff, hanged him on that grill door. By then there were no grasses. Hanged. The body became soft. And the baby came back to life. No one there. Mrs. Sakara Dikones here. Came here. The vehicle was stolen. Taken to Tanzania there. Stolen. You know when they steal the vehicle, they don't joke. Within two hours, they will plunder it and it will be in shops in parts. Lost the vehicle, I think it was after one month. Some people, because came here, I'm told I was not there by then. She just came and said, because I've entered this vehicle, this office, my vehicle will be found. Then the ones who stole, they began to fight by themselves when people are passing. Hey, hey, my share will be what? Hey, 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 hey. And people came and looked for, and the vehicle was packed. I forgot whether I said the drainage they are down. And it was brought back. I don't, you need to walk in faith. The problem you have, you are walking like a child. Only crying. <laughs> God, God. <laughs> yeah, God. If they tell me you exist, it's a lie. It's a lie, God. Which prayer? What do you pray like that? Hallelujah. It's just like education. You cannot say there's no education because I'm not educated. Uh -uh. Is it true? There are people who have been educated. You cannot say there's no God because there are people that have seen God. All you need is to check. Kushe, what must I do to receive the way others have received? So you need to expect God to perform the supernatural. You need to expect God to... The Bible day, somebody said, it was good. It was a good time to be alive when Jesus was here in those days. Did you hear what I said? Somebody said, <coughs> it was, because people, there are people who are just enjoying Jesus. It was a good time to be alive. People look for Jesus Christ. People just hear yeah, this side, let's go, we watch some more. We watch some more. Yeah, let's go, we watch some more. Let's go. It was the nice time. You people, thank God, God has given us a television. Nakonde, bread of life, TV. Why can't we feel this place? With the miracles. Do you know we can feel it with miracles? There is power here. There is power here. There is power. I was telling the people in Mpika last week, I didn't preach, I said, I beg that. No. In my head, there's just a vehicle that has been breaking down, so I'm not done preaching. The man of God said, no, 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 but I didn't. But by the time I was finishing a service, then he said, no, the one who finished this service, is Bishop, will conclude and pray for us. Miracles are happening. Deliverance, you know how we do things. Then I told them that just the year, one of the leaders stayed for 13, 12 to 13 years in marriage without a child. We prayed. And I don't know whether it was or two years ago, she delivered the baby. After all those years. After all those years. Let me give you the last one that I want to expand very well. Then we see how we can conclude. The one that we can expand very well and see how we can conclude. Let me just give you, I've jumped one, but I'll give you the one that will come as number three. How should we be health 
as believers? How should we behave as believers of today? Don't, don't forget to say of today. How then should we behave as believers of today? Why it has started like that? It is because we have talked about the believers of the Bible. What about us? What about us, the believers of today? How should we behave? Desire a miracle with eagerness. Desire a miracle with eagerness. Take initiatives through the word of God in your search for miracles. Take initiatives in your search for miracles. Let me give you a few things under this word. How? How should you? How should you do it? Please write this down quickly. How? Number one, by worshipping the Lord every morning. By worshipping the Lord every morning. Do you want to see a miracle? Charge the atmosphere around you. Charge the, the atmosphere. Worship the Lord. Praise the Lord. Every morning. You don't need a Felix to come and play keyboard for you at home. You can sing with your voice. Every morning. Or you can put music on your phone and sing like anything. Let me tell you, praise and worship brings you closer to God. Makes God be near you. Makes God be near you. Some people think as long as they love God and are faithful to Him, then everything will be working like that. But worshipping and praising the Lord put everything in the proper perspective. It puts God at the head of your life. I don't know whether you heard it well. Some people think as long as they love God and faith with him there. There is nothing. You don't pray. You don't connect. You don't feel anything. You just walk as long as you tithe. As long as you love God. No! It doesn't work like that. How do you feel about God? Where is your heart desire? Do you desire God? Do you pray? Do you worship God? Do you praise Him? Some of you are so dry from Monday to Sunday. You warm up on Sunday again, Monday again, dry. No. Do you want a miracle? Put a song. And begin to worship him. Begin to dance to his glory. Begin to lift his holy name. Begin to describe how majesty, how mighty he is. Put the words, put the song that describe God. You are not a man, no. You are not a man, no. Ah, oh, oh, oh. Put a song, put a song. Worship the Lord. Let me tell you, if you are a worshiper, miracles is coming your way. If you are a worshiper, you become a friend of God. If you are a worshiper, hey, worshiping is like grief. It makes the engine run. It makes, you know, the joints of the vehicle run smoothly. Praise and worship makes God come. Look at the accidents that are happening nowadays. Plenty. If you are not careful, you may wake up crushed the way we are seeing things. You will not die in Jesus' name. Yeah. I say you will not die in Jesus' name. Yeah. Instead of you listening to your maps, your maps in the gospel. <laughs> Put a frame there. Put Ruben there. Put songs that will lift your soul and worship 
him. Hallelujah. Worship him. That's why next time we pray to Shanya with media we workshop. We want songs here, right? So that when you are singing life with Ray, so to read and buffet, hey. Uh-huh. Ah, yeah. okay. Ah, ah. We want to describe him. We want to sing to him. You see, you are born a worshiper. You are a worshiper. You are here to worship him. I don't know whom I come to talk to. As you begin to worship God, even today we worship him. As you worship him better, may a miracle come into your house. May a miracle come to your family. A miracle come to you in the mighty name of Jesus. Uh-uh. Worship him. No did you say, you mean me? Well, that's a change in the world. No papa Iwe with a papa dog papa. Worship the Lord. Worship the Lord. Worship the Lord. Eh, fe wa kuchaume. Eh, fe mwe mwe fe na fe wa kuchaume. Nanga kuchana kashikolishani. I came to prophesy. I came to declare. It is time to worship the Lord. It is time to worship. You need to repent. So you know the song. You need to repent. Shout hallelujah. Shout hallelujah. How many of you are saying, I want to worship God? When the press team are singing, sing like you are alone. When people are leading you, lead like you are alone. May you imagine his glorious power. Solomon and the people, they began to worship God. The crowd of glory came down. People could not walk. Even the ones that were walking in the street, they fell on their knees. I prophesy, our worshiping will carry power. Our worshiping will carry glory. Our worshiping will carry presence. Hey! Hey! Makata Brosiama. What a God. What a God. What a God. Number two thing that you need to do. Make a forgiveness list. Tuashimapo. Mark 11 verse 25. And whenever you stand praying, forgive. Mark 11 25. Whenever you stand praying, forgive. I will discover that I told you a few weeks ago. That in church there is too much childishness. Years ago, we used to fight enemies from outside. Manje, enemies are surely eating with me. Imagine that. Go to judge them, but on your part, forgive them. Some of you have suffered too much. You see, few days, I've discovered so many things. That you people, so many, I thought it's just one. So many have been punkered, have been blackmailed, have been... So many of you. Uriya Samson wa kare ali wera. Le samala mu na menso tu menso imwebe. Mwana mu mona. Namfa emeni ashima. Mwana mu mona lesa. So now make a forgiveness list. Anyone who has done you harm, release them. If you don't forgive them, they will hold your blessings. Amen. Forgive them. Allow God to deal with them. But for you, release them. See what God will do. There are people who literally recorded me back many years ago and take the recording to my seniors and said, this is what he was saying about you. Huh? Was it about what? Oh, and what I was saying about with the church I came from. I moved to Bread of Life. I left that church. Somebody was sent to record me and took it to the bishop where I came from. And this one wanted to take it to my overseer. Then I was a pastor. In fact, they took it to my overseer in Chipata. Look at the person you have received. How he's saying about the other nun. There was nothing wrong there. I was speaking the facts. Why I've moved to bread of life. Then I told my wife, we want to go and forgive this person. And there were five 
we went and knelt down. My wife was heavily pregnant. First pregnant. Mad mama, let's kneel down. We kneel before these people who should kneel before us. We have come to forgive you for what you did. Because I was coming from Lusaka then, a college, and one of the preachings Bishop preached was the, the weapon. One of the weapon of your answered prayers, it is the forgiveness. So we knelt down, asked. The man began to shake. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. You, you, we are the ones who should ask. I said, did you come? It is us who have come. So we have come to forgive you. So we are here. We are forgiving you, sir. We, he's a pastor. We release you. We bless you. May life be well with you. I said, Mama, let's continue. We had no vehicle. Pregnant. Another house. Another house. Another house. Until five houses. We went home tired. And life began to change. All the people we ask for forgiveness. If I bring you one here, some of them are watching, one here, you will refuse. They were far better than us. Go check them today. I am, if it was far better, for me, it is a sky better. <laughs> I'm telling you, forgiveness is proper. Let forgive them. Let me tell you. Anybody who is busy finishing you is childish. Anybody who is busy finishing you is childish. Don't become a child. Don't walk in their ring. In fact, you are playing with your friends that are your enemies. Is friendship by force? Is friendship by force? You are busy. Oh, my friend. My room is sitting and my room is waiting and my friend. We don't do that. You are joking. This is poison. Anybody who can go behind you can put poison in your water. Let them go. That's why to him be like, May the Lord send your friends. May the Lord send your friends. That is why I am here to tell somebody, your prayers will not be hindered. Are you looking for a miracle? Are you looking for a miracle? Forgive them. Forgive them. So write them down, all of them. Follow them to their houses. I came to forgive you. No negotiation. No discussion. Not to talk about it. Just say, for that which you did, I forgive you. Now listen, listen. Stand up and go. You have done your part. Stand up. No two hours of discussion. Forgive and move. Forgive and move. Forgive and move. Forgive them. Some of them, it is the former girlfriend and boyfriend. They have hurt you so bad. They have hurt you so bad. When you look at them, you feel like vomiting. When you look at them, you feel like strangling them to death. You feel so mad. My friends, you will love God one day that they didn't marry you. You will love God one day because you will look at their future and you look at your future. You will see and say, wow, I prophesy. You will shall receive a miracle as you forgive your former ex, your ex, as you forgive them, as you forgive them. The Lord, the Lord, the Lord will answer your prayers. The Lord will answer your prayers. The Lord will answer your prayers. Lero Nirelo. Lero Nirelo. Another thing, sharpen your skills. Sharpen your skills. I mean, sharpen your listening skills. Sharpen your listening skills. My friend, you need to be very good at listening to the word of God. Listen to the word of God. May the word of God speak to your life. May the word of God right now begin. The Bible says faith comes by hearing and the hearing of the word of God. So you need to understand that you need to sharpen your listening skill. Sharpen it. Sharpen it. Sharpen it. Sharpen it. Sharpen it. Sharpen it. Make it sharper. Tell you. Ah, make it sharp. Your listening skills should be sharp. Whenever you hear preaching, you don't joke. Let me hear. 
Let me hear. My friend, I'm where I am today because I followed the word of God with a keen interest. I followed it. I followed it very well. Any preacher who preaches my moving forward, I followed it well. My friend, you need to love information. You need to love information. You need to love it. Number four, speak the language of faith. Speak the language of faith. You need to have faith. You need to, sp- you need to speak the To have faith is another. And speaking a language of faith is what? Another thing. Hallelujah. Speak a language of faith. What is the language of faith? Today, as I pray for you, you need to walk here and say, Oh, I've received my miracle. Tell five people as you go, Do you know I have just received my miracle? Do you know a certain woman just had a man of God praying? You get married. Herself fixed the date herself and began to tell people, On 16th of December, I'll be getting married. I'll be inviting you. 16th. 16th, and it was December. No man, nobody. How will people look at me? How will people look at me? Before 16th, a man appeared seriously and fixed a date. And if we tell it, went back to people, we have rechanged, rescheduled. It is coming on such day, and it happened. Speak a language. Are you sick? I am healed. The Bible says, let the sick say, I am healed. Let the sick say, I am healed. Let the single say, I am getting married. Hallelujah. Yes. Let the single say, I am getting married. Let the poor, the Bible says, let the poor say, I am rich. Ah, May you get married? May you get, are you poor? Say no. Are you poor? No. No. My friend, you need to speak it. One day I took leaves, leaves, leaves of Mutondo tree and folded them, put them here. Walked with them the three days of prayer and fasting. I said, this is money. I pray, pray, I bring them out and count and put them back. Three days, they are here. Now you can see this. They were here. This one is not a decoration, no. The what you see here. After that one, I remember, by the time I was proposing mommy, we used to wear jeans, big ones in those days. You know, not these ones you wear. Big ones! When we are moving. So I'll buy a brand new tissue, remove a something on the middle, push it together, put in the jean. When I'm moving, it is loaded. <laughs> Will you marry me? <laughs> Will you? Today it is here. Speak the language of faith. Speak the language of faith. As you speak it, it will come to pass. It will come to pass. It will come to pass. It is coming to you. Your business is changing. Your office is changing. Your finances are changing. Your status is changing. Your life is changing. Number five, don't take no for an answer. Don't take no for an answer. Don't take no. Don't take no for an answer. God should answer you straight. No is not my answer. When you pray, nothing happened, refuse. Nothing happened, refuse. Don't take no for an answer. Hallelujah. In your time, you can read Second Corinthians chapter 1 verse 20. All the promises of God in him are yes and amen. The promises of God are yes and amen. So don't, my friend, if you joke, if you just say, I'm waiting on God, it will never happen. Don't take no for not for the promises of God are yes and amen, meaning yes. And again, I agree. Meaning yes, I agree. Meaning yes, and I agree. Yes, and amen. I prophesy in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. No will never be your answer. No will never be your response. God will give you what you want. Number six, don't refuse to doubt. Refuse to doubt. 
Mark 5 verse 36. Refuse to doubt. Mark 5 verse 36. Don't be afraid. Just believe. Don't be afraid. Just believe. My friend, don't fear. Don't be afraid. Just believe. Just don't fear. Even when the storm is coming. Even when things are tougher. Don't fear. Just believe. Things will get better. Things will get well. Shout hallelujah. I said things will get well. Another thing. Plant the word of God. Plant. 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 P-L-A-N-T. Plant the word of God. Luke chapter 8 verse uh, 11. I'm just speaking one sentence. The seed is the word of God. Luke chapter 8 verse 11. The seed is the word of God. Plant it. If the word is the seed, then it deserves to be what? Planted. So plant the word of God. Believe. Plant the word of God. If the word of God says this, I take it. If the word of God says this, I receive it. If the word of God says this, I take it. I prophesy. As you believe the word of God, may the Lord give you miracles. Again, learn the act of waiting. Learn the act of waiting. That was number what? Eight? Learn the act of waiting. Do not become slankish, but imitate those through faith. And patiently, patience, inherit the promises. Hebrews 6, 12. Hebrews 6, 12. Patience inherit the promises. That is why you need to wait on the Lord. Even when it has not happened today, wait on the Lord. Yes, so learn the art of waiting. How do they wait? Learn it. Learn it. You need to differentiate between long timing and waiting. There is a long timing. People sometimes, they can miss it and say, I'm still waiting. But there are some times when you need to wait very well. Wait in prayer. Wait in intercession. God, you are answering me. God, you have answered me. God, it is happening. In December, it is happening. In December, it is happening. In January, it is happening. In February, just wait on the Lord. Lastly, expect the impossible. Expect the impossible. Mark 9, 23 is my favorite verse. Mark 9, 23 is my favorite verse. As I concluded, press him run here. Mark 9, verse 23 is my favorite verse. All things are possible to him who believes. Oh, 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 things. This is what Jesus said. Jesus said to him, if you can, be, if you can believe, all things are possible to him who believes. Believe. Expect the impossible. Expect the impossible. There are things they have said it cannot happen. There are things they have said it can never work. There are things they have said it will never happen. I stand as a prophet of God. I stand as a man of God. The impossible will happen. The impossible will happen. The impossible will happen. I saw a man walking on a line. Pantambo. Pantambo. Areshana Pantambo. How can this be? How can this be? A skill. Apart from the witchcraft they are suspecting. A skill. When you train yourself. When you are positive about it. You can do it. So there is nothing you can fail to do. There is nothing you can fail to receive. I pray for all of you. That every impossible situation is becoming possible. It's becoming possible. It's becoming possible. Stand on your feet. That was Voice of Deliverance from Nakonde Bread of Life Church International Blessing Center. You can tune to this program again same time, same station next week. And we invite you to make Bread of Life Church International a church of your choice this Sunday. Our main service starts at 7 hours to 10 hours. We have midweek service at 17 hours to 19 hours every Wednesday. Deliverance service starts at 10 hours every Tuesday. You are all welcome at Nakonde Blessing Center, Bread of Life Church, bringing tens of thousands into the kingdom.